Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hanson here and we're back with another video. So this video is not a tutorial, but I'm just pretty much addressing the uh, problem that many people have been having with um, Heroku and deploying, uh, well, pushing their code to GitHub. And it's basically this problem where uh, it says unable to access like this repository with authorization. And a lot of people have been asking me about this. Um, they post, post comments, they come on my server, and I didn't really have any clue because I did try looking it up on Google, but... Um, and, and I also did try other uh, things. I also tried, like, you know, telling them to, you know, reauthorize, you know, disconnect, reconnect. But it seemed like those things didn't really work until this one person who came on my server who submitted a ticket. And um, he told me that the reason, the, what, the, what the staff from Heroku said was that the reason why um, the authorization problem was happening was because the repository is actually empty. So I'm going to show you guys how to, what I'm talking about, and then I'm going to show you guys how to fix it. Okay, so let's go and do this real quick. Um, so I'm on the Heroku CLI website right now. So I have my GitHub over here, and as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new repository. We'll just call it test2 because I already made test1 already. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're not going to initialize this repository with readme. We're just going to create it and it's going to be empty, right? Because if you create the readme, if you initialize the repository with the readme, it's not going to be empty anymore. And it will look like this, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go on heroku.com. I have that right over here, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new app, all right? I'm going to call this uh, my... Heroku Discord bot. Okay. Okay. And yeah, choose a region, United States, create app. All right, cool. Let's connect to GitHub. And I'm going to search for test2. Search. And connect. And you're going to see that error pop up. We are unable to access this connected repository on GitHub. The authorization, the authorization key is not valid or the account used to connect to GitHub does doesn't have access to the repository. Try disconnecting the repository above and then reconnect. So let me actually look at this error message that this guy sent me real quick. So it says, so what the guy said on Heroku was like, it looks like your your GitHub repo is empty and although not very helpful, our dashboard team is aware of this. So Heroku themselves are aware that this alert message is nothing related to like an authorization thing at all. I mean, it could be, but like, According to what they said, it's not. So this message occurs when this is the case, when when the GitHub repository is empty. So, um, and they also said this doesn't help. It's possible the GitHub OAuth token we have stored is not able to access your repo. And so, if even after your GitHub repository, um, even after you push something to it, and it still has error, then you have to try to re reauthorize the uh, the app. Okay. Um, anyways, so let's go over to, uh, let's see, so let's actually clone this real quick. I'm going to clone it uh, to my desktop, I guess, because there's nowhere else I can clone it. Um, let's see, uh, CD desktop. I'm on my terminal right now. And if you hear background noise, I do apologize. I'm recording my Mac, and my Mac is like pretty much, you know, the fan is always spinning whenever I uh, do anything task heavy or CPU heavy. So let's get clone. And yep, we cloned an empty repository. So let's cd into there, and let's just go ahead and create a simple file. Let's just call it bot.js, and you can see uh, there's the bot.js file in there. So we're going to git add, git commit test. Um, I have no idea what this, what was going on here. Anyways, so if I refresh the page, you're gonna see that we have a file in here, and uh, let's go back to our Heroku um, right over here. Okay. And let's go ahead and disconnect and reconnect the repository again. It should fix that. Connect. There we go. So, yep, there we go. It updated. So now we're actually, the, our repository is authorized with Heroku. And Heroku can actually access the files in this repository. And... And over here, you can just enable automatic deployments on the master branch or whichever branch you want. Okay, now, let's say even after, if this doesn't work, here's other things that you could try to do. You can go over to settings, um, or not settings, actually. You can go over to, um, where is it? Oh, over here, this top right corner over here. You can click on, um, wait, I am uh, lost right now. Where am I supposed to be going? I don't even know. Um, hold on. Uh, where is this? 
wait a minute give me one second somewhere here my discord my horrible discord bot okay um where was it access activity metrics deploy hold on where oh i'm an idiot okay so you can go over here to the top right account settings and you can reauthorize the app right over here so you can reauthorize it it'll open the page reauthorize it you can also revoke access and then give it access again but reauthorizing it should do the trick and again if, it, if that doesn't work you can try revoking the access if um if that itself doesn't work as well you can also try doing something like this so i'm going to go over to github.com and i'm going to go over to horan settings um applications authors awesome okay so what you could do is you can go over to heroku.com you can head over to um settings you can go to applications you can go to authorize oauth apps and you can scroll down here heroku dashboard you can revoke the access but i think doing this because i've never actually done this but i think doing that would be the same way as would be the same thing as um actually just reauthorizing the app anyways so but like i said hopefully that helps you guys out i know there's been a lot of people who have been having trouble deploying their bots to heroku and i understand people a lot of people who make bots and you know want to you know program stuff they want to deploy their apps but they can't afford you know monthly uh monthly virtual private servers so heroku is actually a really good service that i personally enjoy because there's so many options that you can use there are some limitations like with what you can actually deploy on there but for the most part you can deploy node.js apps java closure go python and a bunch more so it's really good and it's worth it in my opinion it's worth investing some time in it but like i said it's free can't really complain so hopefully um this video helps you guys out if you guys have any other you know complaints issues problems with heroku feel free to leave a comment down below but i'll respond uh, faster if you join the discord server so um yeah like i said just you know just check back post any comments you can join our discord server right over here i'll leave a link in the description you know we pretty much uh it's pretty active i'd say about every single day there's at least you know a couple people asking for help when it comes to you know making bots and stuff and i'm, I'm always happy to help people out so definitely check it out um you know ask questions say hi and yeah i'll see you guys there and i'll see you guys in my next video peace